Hello everybody, my name is Jose Games and welcome back to this brand new video. In this video I'm going to show you guys a system I created which is used for waving leaves and for waving grass or other ground vegetation. Um, so first of all I'd like to tell you guys that it's going to be for sale on Gumroad for, well, depends on what mood I'm in. And anyways, um, once you have bought the uh, the files, you will get these files over here. So the dot my swatches, the uh, waving grass file, and the waving leaves file. The waving grass file can also be used for um, for ground vegetation, such as flowers and other sorts of ground vegetation. And there's a readme document which contains some extra information on how to contact me and some information about this package. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. So in Maya, you'd, like, you'd want to go to File in the top left corner, go to Import, and go to the directory where you have uh, downloaded the file and just click the grass one first or whatever whichever one you want to open first or if you want to open only one then that's fine as well then you will get this uh, which is over here right now so let's bring this up move it a bit over here so that is nice inside of our field uh, field of view okay so basically this is the wind controller and the grass uh, wind controller to be more precise and here you can uh, adjust all the parameters to make the grass move differently or the other ground vegetation so but right now if you want to play back the animation or want to see the grass moving nothing happens yet so to fix that go to windows to relationship editors and deformer sets then you'll get this panel over here which will open up and it'll show one on the left which are the deformers and on the right all the things that are inside of the scene. In this case you want to click waving grass and I've already separated all the uh, ground vegetation and the leaves from the rest of the scene so it'll be a bit easier for me to do this. Okay, So once you've selected the waving grass uh, make sure to select or, or all the uh, ground vegetation in here or you can group all of them and click the group to make it animated if we move this aside for a second and play back right now you'll see that the grass is moving at a nice and slow pace um, so we can change some parameters over here like the wind speed to let's say 10 maybe then you'll notice that everything then looks a bit more stormy you have the wind turbulence, which actually determines how much an object moves from its center point. So let's, for example, put this on 40, maybe 50. There we go. And then you'll see that the waves are much and much bigger. So for now, I just want to put it on 20 because it is a relatively nice and slow pace or movement and put this back to 3 for the wind speed. You can play around with all these settings to get something you like, so that's that's that actually. And there's also the wind turbulence frequency, which actually determines how many waves there are inside of a single wave. So right now you see that there are way too many, so maybe let's put this on 5 or so. Then you'll see that the waves are actually still too many, maybe uh, 3. You'll notice that the waves are really squiggly and really fast and short and small and if we put this on let's say 0.1 or so then you'll notice that the waves move really slowly there are really big 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 slow lush wind over here so for this example I would like to keep it on 0.5 or 1 just for a nice and slow breeze and now we can actually hide this controller from the sets and go to file import and import the one for the leaves because we want waving leaves as well, don't we? Okay, so once it's imported, it's basically the same steps. So go to Windows, Relationship Editors, Deformer Sets. 
Then you'll get the, def uh, the relationship editor again for the deformers. And this time you'll have to click the waving leaves and the, wa and the leaves themselves as objects. Right away you will realize that the leaves, the leaves have been animated. And you can apply those same settings or same changes for the leaves as for the grass. So let's put this up to 50 for example, then you'll notice that the waves are quite big and extreme. If we put this on 20, the waves will be a bit slower or a bit smaller. I think uh, maybe 40 is nice for this one. And the wind speed maybe on 2 and this maybe on 1. Then we'll get something like this, like a bit of a harder wind. Which can still be quite nice depending on your scenario. Okay, so basically um, this is it for this tutorial. You can find the download or you can buy this package from my Gumroad. I have switched from Selfie to Gumroad due to some problems and issues I had with, with Selfie. They changed some stuff and it didn't work out for me. So I started, so I decided or well, Actually, someone pointed me to selling my stuff on Gumroad, and that's what I'm gonna do. If there are any more questions, you can find my Discord link in the description of this video. And you can contact me uh, through Discord or through my email address contact.joseagames at gmail.com. And if there are any more questions or you just want to let something know, just type it down in the, in the comment section. Well, make sure to like, subscribe and uh, share it with some friends if you're in an animator community. That would be very nice and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Later.